Hey everybody, this is your boy Chaj, and today we are reviewing Bohemian Rhapsody. Bohemian Rhapsody was written by Anthony McCartan and it was directed by Brian Singer. Brian Singer is an American filmmaker, director, screenwriter, and producer. He's made a couple of the X-Men films in the past. He's also made a couple of non-superhero movies like Valkyrie and The Usual Suspects, which is probably his best film. Bohemian Rhapsody is the long-awaited biopic about the British rock band Queen detailing their rise to prominence during the 1970s and 1980s. Although I think it would be more accurate to say that this film is primarily a biopic about Queen's lead singer Freddie Mercury as it centers around him and his life from the time that he joined the band up until the band's famous live performance at Wembley for Live Aid in 1985. And while this film did just come out recently, it's been in production for a really long time, or at least it's been in pre-production for a really long time, since 2010, I believe, and the whole process has been very well publicized up until this point. There was the whole saga with Sasha Baron Cohen, who was supposed to play Freddie Mercury originally, but ended up backing out of the project due to creative differences with the band and the studio. Brian Singer dropped out of this project right before filming finished. It was due to some personal issues that he never really got into. Brian Singer is a huge enigma of controversy all by himself due to several sexual misconduct and assault allegations made against him by several young boys in the past. But putting all of that aside, the film was made. We have a Queen movie. Rami Malek stars as Freddie Mercury, who's from Mr. Robot, which is a great show, by the way. After watching it, I don't think it's the big train wreck everyone was expecting it to be, but I also feel that it's very far from being a great rock biopic. I did find a lot of parts of this film to be enjoyable. It has a lot of energy, and I never felt bored during its two hour and 14 minute runtime, which I think is really saying something. I thought the acting was fine. I was particularly impressed by Rami Malek's performance, who plays this larger than life character who's very spontaneous and flamboyant. I didn't really think he could pull it off, to be quite honest. I'm used to seeing him play this very antisocial, hermit-like hacker character on Mr. Robot, so this role is a huge change of pace for him, or at least from my perspective. His performance was full of energy and charisma, especially when he's on stage. I didn't feel like I was watching Rami Malek for a good part of this film, which is something I always like to see from a performance. I thought the film did a great job of casting the other band members who look a lot like the actual band members in real life, especially Guillaume Lee, I think is how you say his name. He looks like Brian May's twin brother, honestly. And it helps that the band provided the actors with a lot of the same clothes they used to wear back in the day, adding another layer of detail to this film's production design. The cinematography was solid, and the soundtrack, of course, is great. This film really milks the shit out of this band's greatest hits, as they should. Because the music and the source material of the story is so good, it's kind of hard to dislike this movie, at least if you're a passive fan of Queen, like, like me. me. Watching the band create and play some of their most crowd-pleasing songs is going to be fun to watch for the average moviegoer. Although I think if you're a Queen super fan, you'll probably be disappointed at all the stuff this film gets wrong. One of the big things the film gets wrong that a lot of people are annoyed about is how the band breaks up about two-thirds of the way into the film. The band butts heads with Freddie over him wanting to make a solo record, but in real life, Roger Taylor was the first one to come out with a solo record, not Freddie Mercury, and the band still stayed together during that time, as well as when Freddie Mercury did make make his solo record in 1985. There's parts of Freddie's relationship with his first girlfriend, Mary, that was wrong. The way that he met his lover, Jim Hutton, is wrong. It's pretty normal for a movie to fabricate certain things about the story to make it more dramatic, but I don't think it's the disingenuous storytelling that's what makes this film feel so subpar. The more I think about it, the more I can't help but feel that if you replaced Queen, in this movie with a fictional 80s band and also replace the music, the film would totally fall apart. And that's because outside of the music and the source material, everything about this film feels really generic. The pacing feels really uneven during the first act, the direction is pretty bland, and the film really doesn't go that deep. By the end of this biopic, I didn't really feel like I knew that much more about the band or Freddie Mercury as I did going into it. There's all sorts of things I wish this film had explored more, 
like the relationship between Freddie Mercury and his family, which is rushed, the experimental recording techniques they used on their first record, which is rushed, and the way that Freddie Mercury meets Brian May and Roger Taylor is comically and conveniently rushed. Freddie Mercury sees Roger Taylor and Brian May perform as their original band Smile with a different lead singer at this local show or local club. And right after the show, Freddie Mercury just so happens to run into these two guys as soon as the lead singer breaks up with them. How, How convenient. convenient. Guys, at the end of the day, I don't think Bohemian Rhapsody is a waste of time. There's a lot of things to enjoy about this film, especially Rami Malek's performance, which is definitely worth seeing. It's just that this film doesn't do anything to really separate itself from other generic rock biopics, which is the main reason why I kind of felt a little disappointed. And with that said, I'm going to give Bohemian Rhapsody a 3 out of 5. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you thought about Bohemian Rhapsody in the comments section below. Be sure to leave a recommendation on a film that I should watch and review next while you're down there. Be sure to check out the other content on my channel and keep a lookout for upcoming reviews. And as always, if you like this video, then hit that like button or share this video or both, whichever you prefer. And if you dig the channel, then you should subscribe to the channel. Thanks again, guys. This is your boy Jay, all day, every day. You know what it is, signing off until next time. Bye.